Welcome to the second interview from the library. I'm here with David Orban. David is the CEO of .sub. And we've been talking um, about the importance and relevance of online video, how much production is being made right now and how much consumption, to the point that Chris Anderson from Wired said that the web is dead, just because there's so much consumption of other things. So David, what is the current situation of online video? Uh, there are a lot of types of content in uh, the internet and I believe really online video is uh, the type of content that has the highest emotional bandwidth. You can read uh, whatever you want but uh, when the, there is a narrator, there is a storyteller who is really passionate about his message, uh, it will be the video that catches your attention. Cisco actually uh, predicted that within four years over 70 percent of uh, the entire bandwidth uh, will be consumed by video. So it's definitely a huge uh, opportunity out there. And I imagine that all this consumption and usage of video generates a new challenge. So what is the situation? What is the problems that have arisen? If you have a handful of uh, minutes to spend every day uh, the social signals coming from your network will enable you certainly to uh, aggregate uh, a few viral videos and uh, see uh, dogs uh, skateboarding. But if you uh, are in a discovery mood, then it is going to be much more difficult to find what you need. Video discovery depends on the quality of the meta tags. And today, uh, the metadata around uh, online video is typically very poor, based only on the title, a uh, very short description, and a few tags. So much so that there are content forms that actually generate uh, um, superfluous textual content with which to wrap videos, uh, which are the focus of, of the attention. Uh, but this is not the right way to proceed. And what would be the right way so that we can find the content we're really looking for? Uh, as often is the case, uh, the solution is within the problem itself. The solution for video discovery uh, is to use uh, the speaker's uh, message and uh, transcribe and translate uh, the videos so that uh, the text is available right away for the search engines to index and for us to focus our attention. As an example, uh, based actually on DotSub's platform, we can um, look at TED, where the open translation project uh, um, used more than 6,000 volunteers uh, to translate the TED videos in 90 languages. A huge success, where uh, the users uh, not only participate but also then discover being able to concentrate on the very specific moment of the video that uh, is interesting for them through the interactive transcript that you can look at just like a newspaper article and pinpoint what uh, you want. And Give me just a small tidbit about monetization. How can people make money with this? Well, uh, DotSub's model actually is based on crowdsourcing on one end and on professional translations on the other. So um, our uh, enterprise clients taught us a lot about what are the right features and the right ways to proceed in, in offering these kinds of services. And our next uh, generation platform will extend the advantages of global video discovery, distribution, and monetization to any level of uh, video content owner where people from all over the world will be able to participate as well. Thank you very much, David Orban from DotSub. Thanks.